Chapter 61 Spear Two sticks of incense have already burnt down. Li Tai and Wang Mang's faces were ugly. They did not think that Lin Ming would been able to persist for so long. It was proof that Lin Ming had already surpassed them, that he was likely to enter the top 150 rankings. Big brother, this Lin Ming is still fighting in there. Li Tai's mouth twitched. He never thought that the two brothers' talents were inferior to others, but they couldn't even keep up in actual combat. This all made Li Tai feel depressed. Hmm. We underestimated the seven profound martial houses' youthful talents. When this Lin Ming fought with Wang Yanfeng, he must have hidden his true skills, either that or his progression has been amazingly quick. At that time, a ray of light shot out as the first person was ejected from the 10,000 killing array. This person was not Lin Ming, but an old disciple of the Earth Hall. His final result was 147. 147! My goodness, this Lin Ming is relying on his age of 15 to advance past the 150 top rankings. This is the same result that Ling Sen, Ta Ku, and Zhang Guan Yu had achieved. Saying that Lin Ming was on par with these three existences, many present people's hearts turned cold. These three men had always been the unshakable and ineffable existences that occupied the top three ranks of the ranking stone. Their strength was a level higher than those of the fourth and fifth rank, and to say that Lin Ming shared this honor with these three people? It didn't matter if he had managed to scrounge around and eat some rare material, or if he had met some sort of fortuitous encounter as a child. As long as he managed to be on par with these three, his future fame would echo in the world. Don't draw conclusions so quickly. It's only time that's passed. Maybe this Lin Ming is very slow at killing, and he's just spending most of his time running away. If that's the case then he wouldn't have 200 points yet. Hmm, that's reasonable. Being in there a long time doesn't mean his score is also high. That old disciple that came out was just rank 147 and had just entered the top 150. Let's wait and see. In the illusory world of the 10,000 killing array, even if one fended off enemies and did not kill them, their number would still slowly increase. So even if a person was strong, they could not stay inside for an indefinite period of time. Of course, if their power exceeded that of a Cientian expert, they could directly break through the barriers. But that was a different matter altogether. Lin Ming hadn't done any useless dodging. From the moment he started with that first kill to now, he hadn't stopped to take a single breath of rest. The only thought on his mind was to kill, kill, kill. The Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians was a body transformation skill manual that was the extreme essence of light and yang. Its every style and move was to march forward and defy all enemies with courage. It wasn't a skill manual that favored dirty dogfights. Lin Ming's fists were already dripping wet with blood. Every time an enemy died, a more formidable one took its place. These phantom beings started at the early third stage of body transformation and became the peak of the third stage, and on to even the fourth stage of body transformation, altering muscle. There were already three altering muscle level enemies that had appeared, and with the viscera training level enemies serving as a distraction, even Lin Ming was finding it difficult to keep up. Fortunately, Lin Ming had support from the first layer's large success of the true primal chaos formula. Lin Ming's true essence was rich and lively, and it continued to grow. His physical strength hadn't dropped by much. Even a durable martial artist who had reached the large success stage of viscera training and could breathe like a serpent would find it hard to compare with his resilience. The enemies became stronger and stronger and finally a body transformation second-level vicious beast appeared. It was a crystal back spider. Lin Ming felt an enormous pressure on him when this beast appeared. A crystal back spider's defensive capabilities were astonishing. It was difficult to wound it even with a sword. It could also launch its spider silk in a long-range attack. The spider's silk was durable like steel wire. Once he was entangled by this silk in the midst of all these enemies, he would immediately die. This spider is difficult to deal with. Lin Ming tightly frowned. If this was one-on-one -on -one, he could wear this spider down until it died, but in his present situation with danger on all sides, he couldn't take this tactic into consideration. At the same time he had to deal with the attacks of multiple enemies, 
he also had to dodge this spider's long-range attack. Lin Ming was surrounded by peril. Che! A sharp sword light flew at him. Lin Ming immediately backed up and the dangerous sword light just barely missed his chest. This sharp sword aura really made one's hair stand up. Lin Ming gradually found that his own fists were insufficient weapons, and it was against a single enemy there would be no problem. But in this midst of a chaotic crowd, he found that he lacked the ability to move as he liked. If he attacked an enemy, especially with a close-range attack, he would be vulnerable to the enemy intercepting. Maybe he should choose a weapon. If so, what should he choose? Lin Ming's mind began to race with thoughts and ideas. Sword? In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, 90% of martial artists used the sword. The reason was that sword's use was diverse and its attacks were sharp and fierce. Although it was difficult to reach the pinnacle of sword play, the barrier to entry was not high. A sword could attack and a sword could defend, and it could be heavy or it could be light. It was a versatile weapon that had gained a top reputation with soldiers among every weapon in the world. But Lin Ming felt that the sword did not suit him. What he cultivated was the Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians, the most young of all body transformation skill manuals. If he reached the large success stage, then his aura would be like a billowing tsunami that swept through heaven and earth. If he saw a god then he would kill a god. If he saw a demon, then he would kill a demon. But a sword master was different. They were known for their agility, ever-changing styles, complex moves, and cunning attacks. Their style did not match him. Then what about the saber? If 90% of Sky Fortune Kingdom's martial artists used the sword then of the left over 10%, more than half most likely used the saber. The saber was less dexterous than a sword, but its striking power was strong. Its attacks were relentless and unceasing. In the hands of a powerful martial artist it would be especially dominant. In a battle with many opponents, its endless attacks would be irresistible and unstoppable. In those cases it could be called the tyrant of weapons. But Lin Ming also felt that the saber did not suit him. Although the saber had overwhelming offensive strength at times, it had few attack methods. Though it could chop and divide with unprecedented aggression, it lacked an impression of irresistible force. Lin Ming suddenly remembered several days ago when he had met Lan Yunwei in the martial lecture hall. When the elder there had been discussing the basics, he had gone on length about a weapon, the spear. Very few martial artists used the spear in the Sky Fortune Kingdom. It wasn't because the spear wasn't strong, in fact, it was just the opposite. Every spear's attacks were mighty and indomitable. But spears were difficult to learn, and even harder to master. A spear took a long time to practice, more than any other weapon. A spear could divide, it could pierce, it could draw, it could push, it could dance like a flower, it could kill an encirclement of enemies. Its imposing aura was unrivaled and its attacks were unstoppable. To sweep away an army of a thousand, there was only the spear. The spear was called the king of a hundred soldiers. To be titled this, it was obviously formidable. But the spear was difficult to practice, and it was also difficult to wield. Even the construction of a spear was many times more complex than a sword or a saber. For blades like sabers and sword, as long as the steel was fine, then it could be incomparably sharp. But the spear shaft needed to be rigid, yet flexible like a willow branch. Steel and iron simply didn't have the elastic properties required, and could not be used to make the shaft. But wood and bamboo, although they were flexible, they weren't stiff enough and the weight was also too light, and its lethality would only be ordinary. In a real fight it could easily be chopped in half by a bladed weapon. Therefore a high-quality treasure spear's value eclipsed that of a treasure sword or saber by five to six times, and there weren't many of them. Lin Ming fought on one hand, and on the other quickly deliberated on a choice of weapon. His mind ran through the elder's lecture on a spear's merits. However in a life or death fight like this, to be distracted was only inviting disaster. As Lin Ming finally decided, a bolt of spider silk came flying at him like an arrow. Lin Ming jumped into the air, barely evading this danger, but in the moment when he was turning in midair, a sword came madly cutting at him from a tricky angle. Lin Ming only felt pain in his back as his blood shot into the air. He's injured! 
Outside the 10,000 killing array, Lin Ming's main body showed a reaction. There was a stuffy cough, and his face paled. This boy cannot last much longer. The observing martial artists let out a collective breath and relaxed. Most of the martial artists here didn't want to see others doing well. The seven profound martial house already had three holy cows pressing down on them. They did not want another one pressuring them. It's already impressive that he lasted this long. Two sticks of incense have been burnt. If he goes any longer then it will go against the will of heaven. He's done for. He might be able to reach a ranking around 150. Also outside the 10,000 killing array, even the dignified and haughty Zhang Tsang was showing a change in complexion. Although Lin Ming's ranking now was nothing compared to him, but what rank one could achieve at their first time ranking war symbolized their potential. That a 15-year-old could reach above around rank 150 with only a third-grade talent, it really made one alarmed and afraid. This Lin Ming definitely ate the crimson gold dragon marrow pill and the golden snake scarlet pill and that's why he has such strength. Although this is only strength that came from taking pills, I cannot look down on him. Zhang Tsung clenched his fist as he felt pressure descending on him. Chapter 62 The Final Grade This wound isn't light! Lin Ming revolved the true primal chaos formula to suppress the injury, but it still bled. The wound's bleeding. My strength will slowly fall. It's impossible to wage a battle of attrition. If that is the case, Lin Ming's eyes were cold as he locked on to an early altering muscle martial artist and the crystal back spider. You too, I'm going to put my life on the line to kill you both. I will make the most of my remaining strength in the time I have left to obtain the biggest victory I can and try for my highest possible final score. Spear to me. As Lin Ming thought this, the rows of weapons that had disappeared before reappeared in front of him. An overlord's spear appeared in Lin Ming's hand. It turned out to be the overlord's spear. This overlord's spear was crafted with potent dark steel. Such a spear sacrificed its elasticity in exchange for devastatingly destructive power. The overlord's spear's shaft was eight feet in length, and the spear head was eight inches long. The barrel was thick as an arm and because it was made with heavy dark steel, the spear's total weight was 580 genes. With a sweep of the spear, even trees would be smashed apart. Lin Ming's arm strength was 3,200 genes. Wielding this heavy spear was just right. Good spear! Lin Ming laughed out loud as soon as he saw it. He tightly gripped the overlord's spear and swept outwards in a great arc. A martial artist at the early third stage not realizing the change in circumstances, raised a sword to block the strike, but was only sent flying backwards. Ha! Huh. Lin Ming shouted out and his entire body erupted in an imposing aura. A surge of overwhelming Yang aura covered the entire area as it blotted out the sky with killing intent. The group of over ten strong enemies were stunned by this cry, and were unexpectedly so shaken that they dared not step forward. The floor beneath Lin Ming shattered as he slammed his feet against the ground and shot forward like a beam of light. With an unbelievably imposing aura and a 580 Jean overlord spear in hand, he thrust out at the crystal back spider. Hiss. The crystal back spider reacted and spat out spider silk straight at Lin Ming's chest. This spider silk could bind a human, and it was also keenly sharp. It may not seem like an arrow, but it could pierce through a person's body. Even a master at the altering muscle stage could only evade when facing this spider's silk. But once dodged, the crystal back spider could also retreat and continue its long-range attack. Lin Ming did not dodge or evade. He ran at the spider's silk and cut towards it with the overlord's spear. How slender and thin was the spider's silk? The spear point was only a point. Hitting it at high speed was easier said than done. Although Lin Ming didn't know marksmanship, he had spent years delicately working with a debonning knife. With his keen eyes he had accumulated experience and precision. With just this, he had defeated Wan Yenfeng's nine paths of truth with just his fist. But regardless of whether it was a fist or debonning knife, with this 580 gene overlord spear in hand, it was essentially no different than wielding anything else. Break for me! Lin Ming angrily shouted. The overlord's spear hit the spider's silk. The spider's silk was quick like an arrow, 
but its weight was actually like fluttering cotton. The 580 Jean Overlord Spear meeting the spider's silk was like a galloping horse running into a fly. Its momentum not reducing at all, the Overlord Spear thrust straight into the crystal-backed spider's eight eyes. The crystal-backed spider hadn't expected that its silk would be blocked by a spear. At this moment it was vulnerable to the cold, killing point of the spear. Speed was not a crystal-backed spider's strength. Its true power lay in its armored body, and its defensive abilities were comparable to stone pillars. It usually depended on this amazing defensive power to keep off its enemies. But even so, how could it block the 580 genes overlord spear that was combined with Lin Ming's 3200 genes strength? Pa! The crystal back spider had no idea at all as its brain was pierced by Lin Ming's spear. Tsi tsi tsi, the spider that was as big as a small cow was nailed to the ground with its eight legs still twitching. A single spear had killed the enemy. Green mucus liquid shot out as Lin Ming pulled out his spear and rushed towards the other altering muscle martial artists to kill them. However at this moment, there was faint sensation at the back of Lin Ming's mind, as if a poisonous viper was preparing to strike at him from behind. He dodged to the side, and a shining electric light ripped through the ground where he had been. Martial skill? Lin Ming immediately turned his head. Behind him was a phantom man holding a long sword and wearing a bamboo hat. Peak of altering muscle! This enemy was the one that appeared after he killed the crystal back spider. Not only did its cultivation reach the peak of altering muscle, but it could also use martial skills. Seeing that his enemy was someone at the peak of altering muscle, Lin Ming's heart was filled with a surge of heroic pride. This was the first time he would fight an enemy at the peak of altering muscle. Wasn't Lin Ming injured? Why hasn't he finished by now? This guy is too tough, the third incense stick is already half burned. After he was injured he still managed to last another half stick of incense. There are only six people left on stage. The last person's result was 139. It's incredible that he is continuing to persist in there. Most of the present audience didn't want others to succeed. This Lin Ming is already injured. It's inevitable that his battle prowess will drop. Even if he's managing to stay in there because of his own stubbornness, it's not known how many points he could have gotten. As these people talked, two people on the altar gave a cough, apparently seriously injured. They were unable to last any longer and were shot out by the altar. One of them was shockingly Lin Ming. Lin Ming was pale, and his every breath was heavy. Overall his performance this time was not perfect or he would have been able to advance a few more ranks. But he didn't care. At his final moments he was able to wield a spear to slaughter his enemies, including two enemies at the early altering muscle stage. He had immensely benefited from such a fierce battle. Lin Ming finally came out. It took two and a half incense sticks of time. It's not too unreasonable. Looks like he will be able to enter the top 150 ranks. The Crimson Gold Dragon Marrow Pill and Golden Scarlet Snake Pill are truly incomparably wonderful medicines. This boy was similar to Wan Yanfeng just a few days ago, but now after taking these two wonderful medicines he's at this level. Yeah, it would be great if I could eat it too, the crowd said. Many were envious and could not mentally accept Lin Ming's results. At this moment the ranking stone magic array flashed. The first light was a person who had come out at the same time as Lin Ming. After the flash, his name appeared in the 136th ranking. After the youth saw this result he was utterly ecstatic. He was only 17 years old and had practiced martial arts for two and a half years at the Seven Profound Martial House. To have this result was quite good. Then, Lin Ming's name flashed, and it suddenly vanished from the original place at the 210 ranking. More than 100 pairs of eyes were staring at the stone tablet as it updated the results. The ranking stone had altogether 23 rows. Each row had 10 names. Most people's eyes were looking at the 15th row, as this was the ranking of 140 to 150 and it was where Lin Ming's name would most likely appear. However this section of the magic array's image was tranquil like water and did not have the slightest change. Hmm? It was too late for anyone to feel surprise. The ranking stone's thirteenth row actually fluctuated. 
the 125th rank and 126th rank were pulled apart by an invisible force, and then the two characters Lin Ming impressively appeared among them. Lin Ming. Rank 126. Chapter 63. Divine Weapon Hall. 126. By heaven. He's only 15 years old. After the more than 100 disciples saw Lin Ming's position, there was a collective gasp among the audience. Even Ling Sen Taku and Zhang Guanyu did not achieve such an abnormal ranking. During their first ranking war, Ling Sen had been ranked 145, Taku 142, and Zhang Guanyu had destroyed them both and passed through the top 140 rankings to reach the 138th spot, and even that was a far inferior result to Lin Ming's rank of 126. It had to be known that every step up the ranking was increasingly more difficult. This was truly a monstrous genius. Some people were still stubbornly staring at the ranking stone, as if they did not believe the results shown above. Is there a problem with the cliff's magic array? It's only been two and a half and cents sticks worth of time, there is no way he could have reached the 126th rank. The ranking stone's inscriptions were drawn by a Sientian master from the Seven Profound Valleys. How could there be a problem? The result wasn't wrong. If one wanted to advance past the 130 rankings, they would usually need to spend about three incense sticks of time. The only scenario in which they could have gotten more points is if their strength was high, and they didn't engage in an extended melee with the enemy, but instead killed them with only a few moves. A person slowly said, This person was Lin Ming's instructor, Hong Shi. Listening to Hong Shi's words, a few people's Adam's apple spasmed as they gulped down dry mouths. Strength that far surpassed the enemy, enough that they could not even retaliate. Does this little kid even have such a great power? This was too terrifying. Zhang Tsung had an ugly facial expression as he stared at Lin Ming. 126. Although it was far from his current position, this youth was three years younger than him. This Lin Ming, I don't know what sort of godly material he's eaten to be powerful to such an extent but he is only at the peak of the second stage of body transformation. Was he really able to absorb the so much of the efficacy of the crimson gold dragon marrow pill and golden snake scarlet pill with only his medium third grade talent? Lin Ming stared back at Zhang Tsung, and a hint of fighting spirit glimmered in his eyes. With the rest of a month, surpassing Zhang Tsung was not a problem. Good, you very good. A voice resounded in Lin Ming's ear. It was a greeting from Zhang Tsung sent by True Essence. You really managed to give me a good surprise. Although you're only a trashy medium third grade talent, you managed to absorb so much of the efficacy of both the Crimson Gold Dragon Marrow Pill and Golden Snake Scarlet Pill and achieve rank 126. But you are far too naive if you think with just this measly performance that you will be able to defeat me in the leftover time you have. You also had some sort of ability to be able to get such wonderful medicines like the Crimson Gold Dragon Marrow Pill and Golden Snake Scarlet Pill. But your luck ends at me. Even if you got this far, this kind of massive growth brought by the pills only means your true essence is impure. Do you really think you can purify it in the short time you have? You really think you can do that, boy? You will lose. Zhang Tsung angrily said as he moved towards the 10,000 killing array. He was unable to recover his calm again. The last disciple who had participated in the assessment with Lin Ming was finally shot out by the 10,000 killing array. Although he had been inside the illusion for a very long time, his ranking was actually inferior to Lin Ming's. He had also managed to pass the top 130 ranks, but his was only 129th. The 10,000 killing array began to activate again as its symbols and runes lit up. Among the disciples sitting in the twelve spots was Zhang Tsung. The assessment would begin. When the magic array began shining with light, Zhang Tsung sat tranquilly on the altar with a calm appearance, motionless and every breath even and long, as if here were in a peaceful meditation. Although the ten thousand killing array was a magic array, the illusory world inside was inseparable from reality. Consuming true essence or physical strength would cause one's breath to accelerate and their heart rate to hasten. Even injuries would cause their bodies to pale and ache all over. With Zhang Tsung so relaxed, 
the enemies he was facing in the magic array were not his current match at all. This fellow apprentice is Zhang Tsung. He is a master at rank 109. Truly a fierce martial artist. As the new disciple heard this, his eyes filled with excitement and awe. This was the first time he had seen such a high-ranking old disciple. Yes, I heard that the last time he participated in the ranking war was three months ago. He should have made more progress by now. He might even make it to the top 100. Lin Ming watched the incense burn, and soon the second stick of incense was reaching its end. In the time it took for these two sticks of incense to burn, the 10,000 killing array had already ejected several disciples. One of them was one of the new disciples of the Earth Hall. His new ranking was 215, which wasn't too terrible a performance for his first ranking war. The third incense stick began to burn down, and it quickly burned to half. With this, Zhang Tsung had surpassed Lin Ming's time. But with his strength and age, it was natural that he would be able to persist in the dream world longer. No one present thought this was a mistake. Only if Zhang Tseng failed here would it be extraordinary. When the third incense stick completely burned through, Zhang Tseng finally appeared to feel weak. When the fourth incense stick started to burn, Zhang Tseng coughed. He had clearly been injured in the 10,000 killing array. And when the fourth incense stick was half done, Zhang Tseng was ejected from the altar. Final Ranking 103 After Zhang Tseng emerged from the 10,000 killing array, he glanced at his new ranking and frowned, as if this result wasn't satisfactory. Although he had surpassed his old ranking by more than five positions, his original hopes had been to attack the top 100 rankings. He looked at Lin Ming and said with voice transmission, In the decisive battle one month from now, I'll wait for you there. But Lin Ming had not paid attention to John Ken's words. He was thinking of the weapon he had chosen, the spear. He had to go find a good spear. The inspection continued through the entire morning. During the morning, most of the martial artists that came to be assessed were at lower level of cultivations, second stage and third stage of body transformation, and their rankings were outside the top 100. Shortly before noon the more senior disciples finally started to arrive at the 10,000 killing array. These were the masters at the fourth stage of body transformation, altering muscle and their strength was on a completely different level from the previous disciples. Several of them attained rankings in the top 50. Many of the new disciples of the Seven Profound Martial House were enthusiasm-filled youths who stayed to observe the ranking war, but Lin Ming instead departed early. If he could actually see these masters fight in combat then he would certainly have stayed, but the only thing he could see at present were all of them sitting on the altar of the 10,000 killing array so he wasn't able to glean anything from that, and thus had no inclination to stay. Shortly before noon, Lin Ming made his way through several alleys and streets, and arrived at Sky Fortune City's largest and most prestigious weapon shop, the Divine Weapon Hall. The Divine Weapon Hall was Sky Fortune City's most ancient weapon shop. It had been managed and handed down generation to generation from the previous dynasty. Its storied history might even have been more glorious than Sky Fortune Kingdom. Two hundred years ago the Sky Fortune Kingdom had been founded as a nation, but the Divine Weapon Hall had already been there for at least one hundred years. Lin Ming peered at the Divine Weapon Hall from a distance. The massive pavilion-style building had nine decorated stories, and there were soldiers scattered around that gave a feeling of supreme morale. The entrance was wrought with finely fashioned gold gilding. Above the entrance was a wooden banner with dignified characters brushed on with thick, black strokes and hooked by silver chains. Just by catching a glimpse of the entrance, it felt like there was a relentlessly imposing aura that rushed out at him. Without a doubt, the man who wrote the characters was a master of martial arts. There weren't many guests in the store, but of those there, more than half were martial arts experts, and several of them were powerhouses at the peak of bone forging. This made Lin Ming secretly startled. These experts were only a step away from the pulse condensation period, of course. Wanting to take that one step forward and reach that realm was an incomparably difficult step. Before Lin Ming had left the Seven Profound Martial House, he had put on the unique uniform of his school. So even though his age was still young, he managed to attract the sales clerk's attention. He was only a disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House 
but their status was still very high. Young hero, what sort of weapon would you like to purchase? Spear, Lin Ming replied. Oh, the sales clerk said, slightly stunned. There weren't many people who came to purchase spears. Even if they did, it would usually be a tall and burly man. Ninety-nine percent of young men and students who came here would come to look at their swords. He hadn't thought that as soon this fifteen or sixteen-year-old young man entered, he would open his mouth and ask to buy a spear. Chapter 64 Complex Craft What sort of spear would this young hero like to purchase? And what sort of price are you aiming for? Do you have any rare treasures here? Lin Ming opened his mouth to ask. Treasure spears? The sales clerk didn't expect that this young man would surprise him again with such an astonishing question. A treasure spear was expensive, it often cost 10 to 20,000 gold tails, and high quality spears sometimes even 30 to 40,000. Was this young man that wealthy? The reality was Lin Ming did not currently have that much gold on hand, but if he was given time he could plan for it. Young hero, our shop currently does not have any treasure rank spears on hand. If you would like to take a look at treasure rank swords or sabers, we have a wide variety that you could choose from. Lin Ming felt a little disappointed at this turn of events. He hadn't thought that even the Divine Weapon Hall wouldn't have any treasure spears. There just were just too few treasure spears, the sales clerk continued. For a treasure rank spear, there are just too few of those and the demand for them isn't low. Two months ago we had a spear but it was already reserved in advance and sold. Oh? From what I know, there aren't many martial artists in the Sky Fortune Kingdom who use spears. Are these treasure rank spears really that marketable? Hmm. Yes, they are a very hot commodity. There aren't many martial artists that use them, but the army will. Some generals will purchase a treasure rank spear, but because there aren't enough treasure rank spears... Even generals with illustrious careers and many meritorious military services do not have a treasure rank spear. If this young hero wishes to purchase a treasure rank spear in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, it will be very difficult. So that's how it was. Lin Ming immediately understood that the spear was the best weapon to use in the army. Since ancient times, as long as they were a famous military leader, 80% of them would use a spear in battle. The other 20% would use weapons like the large Guandao, Trident, Halberd, and other weapons that were similar to a spear. There weren't many famous generals who relied on a sword or saber to lead an army. When marching an army to war, frequently one would be riding a war horse. During these times a sword or saber was just too short and limited in its range atop a horse. Therefore one had to use a halberd, pike, spear, or weapons like a spear that had good reach. With a spear in hand, even if they fell into a swarming mob of enemies, they would be able to kill their way through. A ten-foot-long spear could aggressively kill all enemies in a large circle. This was something that the sword, saber, axe, or other weapons could not hope to hold a candle to. Therefore the style that could sweep away an army of a thousand was in the sole possession of the spear. That's why the generals of Sky Fortune Kingdom, even if they had cultivated as a martial artist with a sword, and fought with a sword, had no choice but to learn the spear. Well, for the treasure rank spear, I'll come back later when they have a good one on sale. A high quality spear will probably cost several tens of thousands of gold tails, and I don't have that much money at the moment. The gold I spent before came from Mr. Mui, and though the inscription symbols are very expensive, I don't think he needs any more. I've been troubling Mui so often, several ten thousand gold tails is not a small number. I shouldn't approach him about this. Also a treasure rank spear is difficult to use, and my martial arts cultivation isn't that high at the moment. Even if I had a treasure rank spear, I wouldn't be able to display its full strength, thinking this, Lin Ming said. Then consider that matter settled. Could you bring me to look at some spears, a good spear? Very well. Young hero, please wait a moment. The sales clerk turned around and took out a thick spear shaft from a wooden chest. The spear shaft was an inky pitch black and seven feet long. When a store sold a spear, often the spear shaft and spearhead were sold separately. The spear shaft was placed in a wooden chest to protect it against erosion. The spearhead was soaked in a vat of tongue oil to preserve it, 
and guarantee that it would always be luminous and reflect the light. The customer would come choose the appropriate spear shaft and spearhead that they liked, and the two objects would be composed together to form the final product. Young hero, please have a look, the sales clerk said as he handed over the spear shaft to Lin Ming. Lin Ming hefted the spear shaft in his hand. Its weight was probably somewhere around 30 jeans and was not made from metal. With the flex of his hand, Lin Ming could tell that the spear shaft was quite flexible. Lin Ming had no doubt that if he dropped this spear shaft in a full moon arc, it could crack open an animal's skull. Although this spear shaft wasn't made of metal, the damage it could cause on a person's body was equivalent to what a metal pole could do. How much is this spear shaft? Lin Ming inquired. 1,200 gold tails, even though his heart was prepared. Lin Ming was still flabbergasted when he heard the ridiculous pricing. The spear shaft was just too expensive. It had to be known that a normal treasure rank sword would only be several thousand gold tails. This spear shaft was not a treasure. The waiter saw Lin Ming's astonishment and explained. This spear shaft was made from black iron wood. It was carefully selected from several hundred year old high quality black iron wood that was soaked in spring water for seven weeks each week seven days for forty-nine days to let it be reborn. Afterwards, it was boiled in a giant wok with explosive oil for three days. All the bark was stripped leaving only the hardest and most durable wood core, and then mixed and twisted with the silk from a golden silkworm, then wrapped around with cloth from a golden silkworm that was soaked for three years in tongue oil. Whether it is the black iron wood or the golden silkworm silk, both are precious materials that are hard for a sword or saber to damage. In addition to special crafting process technologies involved, this spear shaft will absolutely not be cut off in battle, even if it meets a treasure rank sword. This young hero may feel relieved that you will not be disarmed in any way whatsoever. Hearing the sales clerk's passionate explanation, Lin Ming also felt his heart jump. He hadn't thought that this common spear shaft would unexpectedly have such a complex and advanced crafting process. Golden silkworm silk was inferior and cheaper than skyworm silk, but it was as an absolutely expensive material. The black iron wood was also very expensive, and it was even from a tree that was several hundred years old. Moreover, if there was a single mistake in the manufacturing process then it would have been ruined. For instance, if there was a problem in soaking it in boiling oil, then the black iron wood would be ruined. The spear shaft also had to be straight and rigid, like a perfect ruler. If there was even the slightest diverging angle, it would be eliminated. This caused the spear shaft's value to increase many times. No wonder it was so expensive. Even if a common person did not eat or drink, and worked hard for his entire life, he would still not be able to afford one. If this kind of spear shaft was given to the normal folk, it would be passed down through generations as a precious family heirloom. The sales clerk said, the most expensive part of a spear is the shaft. If a spear is good, then 80% of the reason would be because of the shaft and 20% because of the head. The spear head crafting process is comparatively simple. A good spear head is also only around a few hundred gold tails. This young hero, even if he chose a spear head made from cloud vein wrought iron, it would only be 800 tails of gold. The total price will not be over 2,000 gold tails. What does the young hero think of this? Lin Ming played with the thick shaft as he held it in his hands. He felt a slight sense of something like love towards it and found it hard to put down. Not to mention the shaft's elasticity and durability, it absolutely felt like a first-rate product. What a pity it was too light. Do you have anything heavier? For instance, a spear shaft that's several hundred jeans. Oh? The sales clerk was slightly surprised. For a spear shaft that was several hundred genes in weight, to be able to wield it with dexterity like you were dancing, you would need at least many thousands of genes of strength. Did this youth have such a strong body? But even with his doubts, the sales clerk pulled out another spear shaft that was made from pure dark steel. This spear shaft was quite thick and was seven feet long and weighed more than four hundred genes. The sales clerk had obviously practiced moving this as he strained a bit in taking it out but somehow managed it in the end. This spear shaft is 800 gold tails. Dark steel was expensive, 
but to produce a pure dark steel spear shaft was a relatively simple production process. Therefore, the metal spear shafts were also cheap. Young hero, please be careful, it is very heavy. The sales clerk felt some trepidation as he handed the dark steel spear shaft to Lin Ming. But he was shocked to see that Lin Ming gripped it like an ordinary wood club, and did so while looking very relaxed. The sales clerk's eyes jumped. This young man had great strength. He was simple a vicious beast in human form. Lin Ming held the spear shaft in his hands and thought over it, then he asked, Do you have anything heavier? Heavier? He wants something heavier? the sales clerk said. We do have heavier options but the price is also very expensive. It's all right. In order to avoid any future unnecessary troubles, Lin Ming flashed the gold banknotes in his chest pockets. Right now he still had 8,000 gold tails. As long as it wasn't as expensive as a treasure rank spear, he would be able to afford it. The sales clerk saw that thick wad of golden banknotes and was surprised. Such a thick stack of banknotes. This young man is really rich, he respectfully said. Young hero, please come with me. With that, the sales clerk walked up to the second floor. Chapter 65 The Heavy Spear, Penetrating Rainbow When they entered the second floor, there was suddenly far less people. There was a huge space with only a few customers milling around. A pessimistic middle-aged man wearing a long, Gray Robe was sitting behind the counter drinking a cup of tea. The sales clerk gave a respectful salute to the middle-aged man, then walked over and said a few words in his ear. Oh? This young hero must choose such a heavy spear? The middle-aged asked with interest as he looked at Lin Ning. How heavy a spear were you looking for? Eight hundred jeans. Eight hundred jeans? The middle-aged man's eyes flashed a glint of light. An 800 jean spear would take at least 4,000 jeans of strength to use. Can you? Lin Ming said. Even if I can't freely wield it now, I will be able to later. How bold! I will look for a spear for you. The middle-aged man stood up and moved to the side. A moment later, he returned, carrying a long wooden chest. Although he appeared as if he was taking light steps. Lin Ming discovered that every step the middle-aged man took on the wood-paneled floor would cause a creaking sound. The wood panels were unable to withstand the weight of the load that the man was carrying. The wooden chest in his hands was clearly very heavy. The middle-aged man placed the wooden case on the counter and flipped open the lid. Inside was an eight-foot spear wrapped in a thick cloth. The middle-aged man unraveled the cloth strip, suddenly revealing a dark purple shaft and a deep red spear head. On the dark purple shaft's body was engraved two characters that were written in inscription symbols. Penetrating Rainbow The two plain words combined with the massive spear made it feel as if there was a boundless gas rushing out. Good spear, the middle-aged man said. This spear is named the Penetrating Rainbow. Its shaft is eight feet long and the head is eight inches long. It is a half-treasure. Hmm? Half-treasure? The middle-aged man said. Only the spearhead is a treasure, the spear shaft is not, thus it is a half treasure. Lin Ming was suddenly enlightened. The crafting process that went into the spear shaft was complex, therefore it was too difficult to place an array on it. But the spearhead was the same as a sword or a saber, so it was easy to set an array on it and make it into a treasure. But alas, it was impossible to connect his true essence through the spear shaft due to it lacking an array so its power was greatly reduced. The middle-aged man said, Although the spear shaft is not a treasure, but if comparing the toughness, it could be equal to an ordinary human step low-grade treasure. The difference between a treasure and an ordinary weapon was that that a treasure was inscribed with an array, and thus one could channel their true essence into it. It was not a fact that a treasure would be more durable or solid than an ordinary weapon. This weapon could not concentrate true essence. During an actual fight, as soon as martial skills were displayed, the disparity between the two would be evident. The treasure would be a step more powerful than an ordinary weapon. The middle-aged man continued, This spear shaft was forged with dark purple elastic iron, and the spearhead was made from cloud vein wrought iron. Both sides of the spear's edge have been mixed with profound gold, and are incomparably sharp. The spearhead and spear shaft originally came as a pair, they cannot be separated. 
The total weight is 820 genes. Dark purple elastic iron? When Lin Ming had attended the lecture he had heard the elder talk about this strange metal. This wonderful metal was unmatched in weight and also had a high degree of elasticity to it. It was even used to make strong bows, with a bow made from it, combined with the sinews from a high-level vicious beast to make the bowstring, it could easily project an arrow 2,000 steps away and pierce fine steel plates. If this dark purple elastic iron was used to make a spear shaft, even the thick spear shaft would be able to bend into a half-moon and snap back with enough force to crack open a tree. If a martial artist with 5,000 genes of strength shook it, even the light vibration from the oscillations alone could kill a person. However, for all its thousands or tens of thousands of good points, dark purple elastic iron had to be hammered innumerable times during its molding in order to forge it. It was impossible to inscribe an array upon it, as an array could not be hammered. Therefore this metal could not be used to make treasure weapons. Even so, dark purple elastic iron was cherished and loved by many refiner masters, because it was just too great and fitting a material to make a spear or strong bow with. Lin Ming took this spear made from dark purple elastic iron into his hand. He shook it a bit, and all along the spear shaft it began to quiver. But the quivering was not too intense, because Lin Ming's strength was insufficient and could not shake the dark purple elastic iron. Even so, the middle-aged man was suddenly startled. This young boy! What an abnormal strength! If he could still shake the spear like that, his strength must not be less than 3,000 genes, and he was only at the peak of the second stage of body transformation. What a good physique he had! Lin Ming made a few spear movements with his hand. Even if he was able to raise a 820 genes spear easily into his hand, he could not wave it around with a high degree of fluidity. If he fought with such a weapon, even if Lin Ming had the true primal chaos formula supporting him, it would quickly exhaust his strength. But Lin Ming did not worry. Soon he would break through his bottleneck, and this weight would be just right in his hands. How much is this spear? 9,000 gold tails. 9,000. Lin Ming wasn't too surprised. This spear was worth the price. The cloud vein wrought iron treasure spear head's price was 3,000 gold tails and the dark purple elastic iron spear shaft's price was 6,000 gold tails. Both of these prices were absolute bargains. Lin Ming pulled out all the gold banknotes he had on him, and even the gold purple VIP card, and placed them on the counter. The Divine Weapon Hall was part of the Allied Trade Association, thus the VIP card could give him a 10% preferential discount benefit and caused the price to become 8,100 gold tails. Even so, with all the gold Lin Ming had on his body, he was still missing 50 gold tails. The middle-aged man saw this VIP card and his eyes brightened. Young hero, are you someone from the martial quarters? Lin Ming thought about it, hesitated, and said, No, it's just from my friend at the martial quarters. Although Lin Ming lightly said this, the middle-aged man knew that this young boy was definitely some important personage of the martial quarters. Otherwise it would be impossible for him to have a VIP card, much less have one given to him. He said with a smile. So that's how it is, since this young hero is an honored guest of the martial quarters. For this spear, 8,000 gold tails is good enough. Many thanks. Lin Ming was not too sentimental. 100 gold tails was not much of anything to either him or the Divine Weapon Hall. The sales clerk bound the weapon in the cloth strip and placed it back inside the box. Lin Ming carried the box on his back, and after saying goodbye, returned to the back mountains. The shaft was made from dark purple elastic iron, and the treasure rank spear head was made from cloud vein wrought iron. Such a wonderfully superb spear, it simply made Lin Ming too excited. After he arrived at the back mountains, he went to an open space. Because he was carrying a 820 gene spear, as soon as Lin Ming stepped on the grass with his feet, each step made a dent in ground. Feeling a heavy pressure on his back, Lin Ming's heart filled with a surge of heroic pride. He aimed at a big stone, and suddenly the spear cleaved downwards. There was only a bang sound as that giant stone was immediately pulverized by the heavy spear. Because of the spear shaft's elasticity, Lin Ming didn't feel any intense shaking in his hand. 
This was an advantage of the dark purple elastic iron. If this was a pure dark steel spear shaft, then this vibration would cause his thumb and forefinger to be numb. If the rebound force were any larger, then maybe his entire hand would be numbed. Ha! Huh. What a good spear! Ling Ning recklessly waved the spear around. He didn't know any spear techniques, and simply followed the same routine as his fist techniques. With an 820 gene spear in hand, his spear dance was a little haphazard. Lin Ming practiced for a quarter of an hour, and gradually felt his arm begin to swell, and his strength was somewhat weakening. This spear is heavy! At this time, in front of Lin Ning, a bright flame burst into life. Hmm? Sound Transmitting Talisman? Chapter 66 Marshall House's Resources At this time, in front of Lin Ning, a bright flame burst into life. Hmm? Sound Transmitting Talisman? In a quarter hour, arrive at the seven profound Marshall House's Marshall Stage. The Marshall House shall be allocating resources to disciples based upon their ranking in the ranking war. The Marshall House's resources. With his heart full of delight, Lin Ming strapped the long spear to his back and flew down the mountain as quickly as he could. Although he was moving at his fastest speed, he was still 30% slower than before because he was carrying such a heavy spear on his back. Before, he might have jumped his way through the tree branches with impressive force and agility but at the present he could only run through the thick, knee-high grass, each step flattening the foliage underneath him, while he carried the spear on his back. But this failed to cause distress to Lin Ming. In fact, he was even more excited. Carrying such a heavy spear was also a form of practice. After a quarter of an hour, Lin Ming arrived at the martial stage at the Seven Profound Martial House. Instructor Hong Shi had already arrived there long before and most of the twenty new students of the Earth Hall had also arrived. Seeing Lin Ming come, Hong Shi lifted a hand and tossed the jade slip to Lin Ming. Resource details are inside. Look yourself. Yes, instructor. Lin Ming poured his soul force into the jade slip. Inside was a detailed map of the seven profound martial house, and the sections of resource locations at the martial house were outlined in detail. Inside the illumination of the jade slip were killing arrays used by martial artists to cultivate. There were the Golden Soldier Hall, Wood Puppet Lane, Lava Cave, Boulder Slope, Icy Pond Waterfall, Violent Wind Tunnel, and Thunder Valley. These seven were known as the seven major element killing arrays of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, lightning, and wind. These seven major killing arrays were constantly in operation all year round and they consumed a massive amount of true essence stones. Although the killing arrays were constantly in activation, they could only allow twelve people to cultivate at a time together. The seven profound martial house had too many disciples. It was impossible to allow all of them to come as they pleased, so the only method to allocate time was for disciples to gain it for themselves by struggling their way up the ranking stone. Disciples that weren't on the ranking stone were not eligible to enter and disciples followed the rankings to be allotted time according to Lin Ning's ranking. Every month he could practice at any killing array for three days. In addition to this cultivation practice, Lin Ming was also qualified to enter the Seven Profound Martial Houses Depository and select a low-grade Human Step Cultivation Method and two low-grade Human Step Martial Skill Manuals. Lin Ming could not bring the Cultivation Method and Martial Skill Jade slips outside of them Seven Profound Martial House but he could bring them out of the depository and back to his own residence to study them in his own time. Martial skill and cultivation methods, and also arrays to cultivate at, these are the most valuable resources that the seven profound martial house can provide. Martial skills can increase a martial artist's combat prowess and versatility. The cultivation method is the fundamental of martial art, and being able to practice in a killing array can speed up a martial artist's cultivation and enable them to achieve twice the results with half the effort. Many disciples come to the Seven Profound Martial House for these three resources. Out of these three resources, the most important is the Cultivation Method Manual, but I have the Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians, so the cultivation methods they have here are of no significance for me. What I need most right now is a martial skill and a cultivation room. It's a pity that I can only practice three days per month. It just isn't enough time. I have to rise as fast as I can on the ranking stone. 
Lin Ming outlined everything he needed in his mind, then withdrew his soul force from the jade slip. Hong Shi said, Everyone has finally arrived. Now all of you follow me. We are going to the depository. The Seven Profound Martial Houses Depository was a pavilion that was divided into the inner and outer rooms. Only core disciples could access the inner pavilion. The outer pavilion was for the rest of the disciples. The inner pavilion contained top-secret cultivation methods and skill manuals that were left behind by masters and sages of the Seven Profound Valleys. These manuals and jade slips were not permitted to be handed to outsiders, under great penalty. Lin Ming was only able to enter the outer pavilion at the moment. Although the outer pavilion's cultivation method manuals were a grade lower than the inner pavilion, they had a much larger collection and higher level of variety than the inner pavilion did. Inside were several thousand jade slips that had been collected and accumulated by the seven profound valleys over six hundred years. Occasionally, a seven profound valleys disciple would undergo a mission, and on the way, they would come into disputes with other martial artists and kill them. These martial artists often had cultivation method jade slips on them. Although these jade slips were useless to the disciples of the seven profound valleys, they were able to sell them to the sect and this would increase the number of cultivation method jade slips that the seven profound valleys had. However, these cultivation methods were not the legitimate original methods of the seven profound valleys. Therefore, they would distribute these to the regional martial houses so that the disciples there could study them. Even so, all these cultivation methods were extremely precious within the Sky Fortune Kingdom. Out of the twenty new Earth Hall disciples, many of them had never practiced a cultivation method, so once they came into this outer pavilion and saw such a vast collection of options to choose from, many people grew breathless and colored with excitement. After Lin Ming arrived at the depository, he handed his jade slip in his hands to the warden elder who guarded the outer pavilion. Not only did this jade slip contain the distribution information on resources, but it also served as a record of Lin Ming's data and results. The warden elder examined the jade slip with his soul force, and then said to Lin Ming, You may proceed. You may choose a cultivation method and two martial skills. You may bring the three jade slips out of the depository, but they cannot leave the seven profound martial house. Also, if there are too many people wanting a jade slip, you will need to reserve an appointment, and the length of time you can study it is based upon your rank on the ranking stone. It was too difficult and troublesome to duplicate a cultivation methods jade slip, therefore each copy was rare and unique. Some cultivation methods were much more popular and coveted than others and if many other disciples chose to study that specific one, then there would be a conflict in time and resources. To arrange the reservation time, that would depend on one's own ranking. Therefore the low-ranking disciples often didn't choose a well-known or prominent cultivation method. Otherwise they would not have many opportunities to study it. The seven profound martial house really is where strength reigns supreme. Here, ranking is all that matters. Lin Ming sighed with feeling and then walked into the depository. At this time, there were many disciples gathered in the depository, but none of them were making even the slightest sound. If one carefully listened, they could hear that these disciples were even holding their breath for the space of half an incense stick of time, as they were single-mindedly studying the cultivation methods in the jade slips. So many masters, Lin Ming lightly breathed. The seven profound martial house was really a den of crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Zhu Yan was a top tier talent who ranked among the best in Green Mulberry City. But here at the seven profound martial house he was only able to be in the top 30. Hong Shi said, Start to choose. Don't be anxious, there is plenty of time. Make your choice wisely. Jade slips that don't have a mark are the most basic of skills and cultivation methods. Those with marks on them have a grade. Red marks are low grade of the human step, and purple marks are medium grade of the human step. Near each jade slip is a record that shows how many people have chosen that one. If your ranking is too low, I suggest you to not choose one that is too favored, otherwise, since time is assigned according to your ranking, you may not have much of an opportunity to study it. According to the regulations of the Marshall House, between ranks 100 to 200, they could only chose a low-grade human step cultivation method manual. Lin Ming's ranking was relatively high, so he could chose a popular cultivation method. 
However, not even mentioning low-grade human step cultivation methods, even if it was a high-grade human step cultivation method, Lin Ming would be completely uninterested in it. But he still had to appear as if he wanted one. So he began to browse around all the shelves. Near each cultivation method was a label that was made of symbol paper which had the names of the disciples who had chosen that cultivation method. The popular cultivation methods often had four or five names, but the less popular ones often didn't have any names at all. The gap between various low-grade human step cultivation methods was just too great, thus the disciples who were over rank 100 learned cultivation methods far superior to those below them. Lin Ming looked for a while and suddenly moved as he saw John Sung's name. Shadowless art. I guess this is the cultivation method that John Sung cultivates. As soon as Lin Ming looked at the label, he was stunned to see seven names written on it. This cultivation method was truly welcomed by all. Lin Ming sank his soul force into the jade slip and saw the overview of these cultivation method pop into his mind. The shadowless art. Heavy offense, light defense. The cultivator's true essence density and purity would be extremely high. They could even compare with a martial artist a whole stage above. This is truly one of the best and most outstanding low-grade human step cultivation methods among its peers. It is not too far from being a middle-grade human step cultivation method. However, this cultivation method is not easy to practice, and those that reach the large success stage are too few, thus please be prudent in your choice. Seeing this overview, and reading that it was too difficult so one had to practice it with caution, Lin Ming only smiled and laughed. All of those in Earth Hall over rank 100 were talents, the more difficult it said it was to cultivate, the more those brave and arrogant geniuses would desire it. This cultivation method was also one of the best ones within its rank, how could they not want it? But certainly, in this cultivation method, Lin Ming had no interest. He continued to look around and was preparing to casually choose one, but then his footsteps paused as he wandered near a bookshelf in a corner. Spear Arts? Chapter 67 Unknown Grade Martial Skill Hmm? There is a cultivation method that contains spear arts too? That one Yenfeng's Nine Paths of Truth was a cultivation method that had sword skills. It seems some cultivation methods are particularly focused on certain types of weapons and they will have techniques related to them. Lin Ming reached up for a jade slip on the shelf named Foundation Spear Technique. Although the two-word foundation didn't have a glorious appearance of something of high quality, Lin Ming didn't mind. He sunk his soul force into the jade slip and saw the summary for this Foundation Spear Technique. The Foundation Spear Technique is the foundation for all spear skills. It teaches the straight thrust, the wide sweep, the flower dance, the killing circle, and other such primary spear skills. It does not contain any spear martial skills and is one of the simplest low-grade human step cultivation methods. Seeing this, Lin Ming remembered Wan Yanfeng's nine paths of truth when they had fought. Wan Yanfeng had used the nine paths of truth and his true essence had transformed into nine shimmering green runes on the blade of the sword. This martial skill was incomparably gorgeous and pleasing to the eye, compared to the exquisite beauty of the nine paths of truth. The foundation spear technique just seemed too commonplace and ordinary. It only had the simplest style of spear skills, and that was why it was called the simplest kind of low-grade human step cultivation method. But Lin Ming didn't think that there was anything wrong or bad with simplicity. The more complex a cultivation method was, the more mistakes and flaws there would be, and spending a massive amount of time to practice this sort of cultivation method wasn't necessarily wise as later he would have to throw it away. If that was the case, then it would be best to practice the most basic foundation skills. Learning the straight thrust, the wide sweep, the flower dance, the killing circle, and other such basic skills could never go wrong, as they related to all future spear techniques. As long as he practiced this simple style to the large success stage, he would be able to display its greatest strength. Lin Ming also had the top grade body transformation manual, the chaotic virtues combat meridians to make up for any disparity in martial skills. I'll take this one, Lin Ming decided. He glanced at the side label of the foundation spear technique and saw that it was completely absent of any names.
The word foundation really caused others to not be able to feel any interest towards it, in addition to it being spear-related, which not many others practiced. It's great that no one cultivates this. Now I don't have to reserve time. After choosing this spear art, Lin Ming began looking to choose his movement technique. He glanced over the available ones, lost steps, heaven passing ladder, cloud hanging rope, seven star drifting cloud, swan feather, and so forth. Each of these cultivation manuals were dazzlingly impressive and had kick-ass names. For instance, the Swan Feather Fall. It was said that after cultivating it to the large success stage, then one could use their true essence to fly unhindered into the deep blue sky, as if they were on a feather from a soaring swan. As for the Seven Star Drifting Cloud, it was said that after reaching the large success stage, one could take seven steps at once, without being able to tell where it began and where it ended. It was as if every foot was passing on the seven stars of the Big Dipper, and one would be able to tread on clouds and achieve godly speed within those seven steps. However, Lin Ming shook his head as he examined all these. He wandered around the corner and chose a cultivation method named the Foundation Movement Technique. Lin Ming's idea was very simple. Reading between the lines of these movement techniques, they use some special way to circulate true essence and coordinate it with the strength of the leg and foot muscles, and thus create a method to move around. Although cultivating these movement techniques would make it possible to increase one's speed by several times, once he had a high-grade movement technique, then he would have to discard his old method and practice from a fresh start. Lin Ming did not want to waste his time on some low-grade human step movement technique. Although they had awesome-sounding names that were sweet to the ear, they were ultimately manuals that were discarded as trash by the seven profound valleys and ultimately wound up here. He selected his movement technique, and now it was time to choose a martial skill. In truth, the martial skill was similar to the movement techniques. Once he had learned something superior, the old one would eventually be replaced. But as of right now, Lin Ming lacked a true attack method, so he was prepared to select one that was good and combine it with his spear skills. Lin Ming's requirements were many. He didn't want anything fancy or pompous. He didn't want something flashy but lacking in substance. It had to be something that could be used in various situations, something that didn't use deceit or illusions to strike, something that wasn't low power, and something that could be used with the spear Lin Ming examined almost all of the martial skills and couldn't find one that matched his criteria. No wonder, the outer pavilion's martial skills were trash that were eliminated by the Seven Profound Valleys. The Seven Profound Valleys was responsible for reviewing Jade's slips once they received them. The elders responsible definitely had great insight. How could anything left over be good? While he continued to search as he felt some disappointment, Lin Ming suddenly stopped. Hmm? Why are there broken jade slips here? Lin Ming found that hidden on a bookshelf were placed a number of broken jade slips. Are these also cultivation methods and martial skills? Lin Ming randomly picked up a jade slip piece and seeped his soul force into it, and the summary appeared in his mind the high-grade human step martial skill. Martial skill is unknown. Loss rate is 90%. Once a jade slip had been broken into pieces, most of the information inside would also be lost. No matter whether it was a cultivation method or martial skill, once the loss rate reached 90% there would be no way for even the most talented of talents to be able to practice it. Lin Ming continued to look and found that most of these broken jade slips were high-grade human step cultivation methods, and there were also several low-grade ones mixed in too. This was normal. After all, if it was only a low-grade cultivation method or martial skill, in addition to it being incomplete, then it definitely would have been thrown away long ago. Why would it be kept here? But too bad, even if it was a low-grade earth step cultivation manual compared to the top-ranked Chaotic Virtues combat meridians which came from the realm of the gods, it would be like comparing the heavens and earth. It was also incomplete, so what sort of value would it have for Lin Ming? Although these cultivation methods are high level, the talented disciples will not choose these because they are just impossible to practice. I have the Chaotic Virtues combat meridians, there is just no point in wasting my time attempting these martial skills. Lin Ming did not care too much about this and was just about to give up looking when he suddenly saw something in the corner of his eye and turned. 
It was a jade slip with a martial skill named the body tearing bone shattering first. This martial skill was missing its opening section, and therefore could not be given a grade. It was only the elder who was responsible for evaluating the jade slips that had placed it as a low-grade earth step martial skill. Body tearing bone shattering fist was really a vulgar name, compared to elegant and appealing names like swan feather fall, cloud hanging rope, and other such grand atmospheric cultivation method names, it was simply a dirty beggar. But Lin Ming actually knew that the martial skill and cultivation method names were chosen by the creator. Some weaker cultivators were stuck at certain bottlenecks and could no longer progress. These weaker martial artists would spend their entire life creating a set of cultivation methods or a martial skill. And even though it was limited in ability, they would rack their brains to think of a charming and magnificent name. Superb martial skills and cultivation methods would never depend on the grandeur of their name to attract attention. This body-tearing bone-shattering fist could be said to be completely honest with its plain and vulgar words. However, Lin Ning noticed this manual not because of its name, but because of the effect its attacks would have on the enemy body. On the jade slip it described, the skin would show no wound, but the interior would be destroyed, therefore it is named the body-tearing bone-shattering fist. The skin would show no wound, but the interior would be destroyed. Lin Ming suddenly remembered the soft rigidity concept described in the Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians, Strength Trainings Flow Like Silk. Strength Trainings so-called Flow Like Silk referred to complete control of one's strength and was the Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians Strength Trainings large success stage. With Flow Like Silk, as soon as one punched an ironwood tree, the bark would be fine, but the core would be turned into cotton fibers, because there were missing sections in the memories of the Elder. Strength training's flow like silk had been a bit fuzzy and incomplete. Therefore Lin Ming had not reached the absolute threshold of that stage. This body-tearing bone-shattering fist is a bit similar to Chaotic Virtue's combat meridian strength training's flow like silk. As they say all living things are connected to each other. Perhaps the body-tearing bone-shattering fist also has the same principles behind it as flow like silk. Lin Ming continued to examine the body-tearing bone-shattering fist. Although this martial skill had many missing sections, the parts that were there were still able to give Lin Ming many enlightenments. Let true essence vibrate along the fist. If the vibration frequency is consistent, then resonance will occur, and this vibration can be transmitted to the interior of the enemy, and destroy their bodies. So that's how it is. The senior who created this body-tearing bone-shattering fist must have had a very deep and comprehensive understanding of the relation between true essence and its utilities and strength. Although the realm of the gods' cultivation methods are absolutely exquisite and peerless, it can't be said that the skills of the realm of the gods are all things that the people of Sky Spill Continent cannot dream of or come up with. The history of Sky Spill Continent's inheritances and legacies has already surpassed 10,000 years. For 10,000 years there have been many peerless talents and monstrous geniuses. For them to achieve the same results in certain aspects of the realm of the gods is nothing strange. Thinking like this, Lin Ming chose this martial skill manual, and thus his set of one cultivation method and two martial skills was completed. Chapter 68 Lin Ming's Wonderful Selection As Lin Ming brought up his three jade slip choices of foundation spear technique, foundation movement technique, and body tearing bone shattering first, to register with the warden elder, he saw that that there were several people waiting at the counter. They were Wan Ye Fong and several others. Hong Shi was waiting at the side, and checking which cultivation methods and skill manuals they had chosen. As the instructor for the newbie disciples of the Earth Hall, Hong Shi was only responsible for their general direction and had no specific obligation or duty to help them any further. However, this cultivation method choice was very important, so Hong Shi came here, fearing that the disciples in his care would make a bad decision and choose a cultivation method poorly suited for them. Wan Yan Feng, you've determined that you choose these three jade slips? The warden elder inquired. I do, Wan Yan Feng affirmed and nodded. You chose the divine young power, swan feather fall, and thundercloud strike. These three manuals are very difficult to cultivate particularly the swan feather fall. It is very exacting in its true essence precision. If we are talking about reaching the large success boundary when you will be able to fly, 
it will be exceedingly difficult for you. Are you sure about your choice? Elder, I have already thought about this clearly. Wan Yanfeng had his own plans. His family had the movement technique Seven Despairing Steps. However, the Seven Despairing Steps was just a fraction worse than the Swan Feather Fall. But he would not give up the Seven Despairing Steps. The Seven Despairing Steps would be the martial skill he would use to accelerate and move in short distances. But the Swan Feather Fall was able to make one's body light like a swallow and was good for long distance movement. Both complemented each other and filled the other's weaknesses. Therefore he chose the swan feather fall as it suited him the most. As for the god Yang power, its difficulty was not as high. This was because his ranking was too low, otherwise he would have chosen a cultivation method that was more difficult and had greater rewards and power, such as the shadowless art. All right. The warden elder reluctantly shook his head and registered the jade slips for Wang Yanfeng. These young geniuses all had aspirations that were higher than the sun. They would often choose the most powerful cultivation method and martial skills as soon as they could. However, such powerful martial skills and cultivation methods were not trifling in their difficulty. However, it was hard to question them about this. Young geniuses never considered the difficulty of a martial skill or cultivation method when selecting them. In fact, it could be said that they liked to use the difficulty as proof of their budding talent. But what they had forgotten was that in the seven profound martial house, everyone was a talent. In the cultivation method, if there was a note that said extremely hard to practice that was naturally directed at these clueless talents, it's true that you are a genius, but how can you compare with all these other geniuses? After Wang Yanfeng were the two brother-in-arms Wang Meng and Li Tai. These two also had an outstanding display on the ranking stone, and so their choices and martial skills were similarly not easy. You've decided on these three cultivation methods and martial skills? We've decided. Okay, then next. Hmm? Lin Ming? Yes. Lin Ming placed three jade slips onto the counter. Wan Yang Feng, Wang Meng, and Li Tai were naturally unable to not glance at them, and this included even the curious Hong Shi. Lin Ming's strength was evident to those that had met him and they wanted to know what kind of ancient and supreme martial skill he had chosen. Wan Yanfeng gazed at the three jade slips on the counter. This Lin Ming, his ranking is 126. He might choose shadowless art, or even the absolute nine yang, or some other top-level cultivation method. My strength is already behind him. If I suffer a loss even in cultivation methods, it will be even more difficult to catch up. I will only be chasing his shadow my entire life. Because he had suffered setback after setback, Wan Ye Feng no longer mentioned or even thought of Lin Ming's talent when gauging his strength. In his opinion, Lin Ming was a freakish existence that disregarded the talent barrier and was the strongest match he had met in his life so far. Even though Wan Ye Feng had some apprehension about which cultivation method Lin Ming chose, the warden elder's next words left him dumbfounded. The foundation spear technique, foundation movement technique, and an incomplete body tearing bone shattering fist, are, are these the three manuals you have chosen? These were the three sets of cultivation methods and martial skills. What even was this body tearing bone shattering fist? Wan Yanfeng had never even heard of it, but he did know the foundation spear technique and foundation movement technique. Wan Yanfeng had also passed by these two manuals when he was looking. These two set of foundation cultivation method and movement techniques might even be the most basic, simple, and ordinary low-grade human step manuals in the depository. Why would Lin Ming choose these? Does he have no confidence in himself? That's not right. His heart of martial arts was so firm. How could he not have confidence and belief in his abilities? The warden elder was unable to understand this choice. This foundation cultivation method manual was only ever selected by disciples of the human hall. In all the years the warden elder had worked here, he had seen disciples who had aimed too high and chosen a cultivation method that was far too difficult for them, and although mighty, inevitably were unable to master it and had wasted all their time. This kind of phenomenon was nothing unusual with talents and geniuses. However, this was the first time he had seen a new first-place disciple of the Earth Hall choose a cultivation method that was too simple, 
as if they were afraid to cultivate at all. And that low-grade earth step martial skill body tearing bone shattering fist was incomplete. It in fact was only graded that as a reference value. It was simply completely impossible to practice. Did this Lin Ming know that? What was he thinking? The earth hall instructor Hong Shi was standing on the side, and he also couldn't understand. He had come here today to help direct and guide these new disciples to choose a suitable cultivation method. He hadn't thought that the first one to go astray would be Lin Ming. He opened his mouth and warned. Lin Ming, have you clearly thought about this? Lin Ming nodded and said, I thought about it. I want to build a firm foundation so I chose a foundation cultivation method and a foundation movement technique. Hong Shi said, Good. It's not wrong to want to form a solid foundation. You chose the foundation spear technique and the foundation movement technique. But this body tearing body shattering fist is missing more than 70% of its manual. Even if it is an unabridged low grade earth step martial skill, it still needs extremely high perception and talent to practice. Much less it is also missing 70% of it. Let alone you, even the elders of the seven profound martial house would find it impossible to gain an understanding of it to cultivate. Otherwise do you think that a low-grade earth step manual would be randomly found in the middle of nowhere in the outer pavilion? Would you like to change your selection? Lin Ming replied. I just wanted to meditate and ponder on it. Not cultivating it is not a problem. Also, I want to look at it to see if I can obtain some inspirations. Obtain some inspirations? Hong Shi frowned. Lin Ming was a 15-year-old youth whose cultivation was only at the peak of the second stage of body transformation. And he wanted to be inspired by a low-grade earth step martial skill that was missing 70% of its contents. He was nothing but a moron who had gone too far in his idiocy. But his ambition was aiming at the top. Lin Ming, you really have to guard against the mindset that you are going to get lucky. Don't take chances like this. Even peerless monstrous geniuses would not be able to cultivate the body tearing bone shattering fist. The opportunity to select a martial skill is very valuable. If you choose this, you will have wasted a chance. Although you will later enter the top 100 rankings and have opportunities to choose more, even one less martial skill is a huge pity. Lin Ming smiled and said, Thank you, Instructor Hong. I have already thought about this and am clear in my decision. Good, then do as you like. Hong Shi shook his head. These geniuses were just too stubborn. They wouldn't change unless they endured grief. So he would let him do this and then eat his regret. If he didn't suffer, then he wouldn't remember this. Like this, Lin Ming selected his cultivation method and martial skill jade slips. His name was written on a jade slip note and then he received three keys. These three keys were actually three small ash-gray stones, and at the top of each was a red marking. Each key corresponded to a set of manuals. Once a new disciple chose a cultivation method, the jade slip would be sealed on a shelf for storage. Without the key to open the array, even if they entered the depository, they would not be able to look at anything. Chapter 69 Strength Training Flow Like Silk in a quiet, secluded clearing at the back mountains, Lin Ming sat in his yard on a stone table. He was meditating in tranquility, as spinning autumn leaves slowly fell around and on his shoulders. In the peacefully quiet autumn morning, Lin Ming had risen out of bed before sunrise to breathe in the fresh mountain air and get his mind into its optimum condition. Lin Ming had placed the body-tearing bone-shattering fist jade slip on the stone table. This was an incomplete earth-step martial skill. Even if Lin Ming had the chaotic virtues combat meridians as reference to help guide him, he still needed an extremely high level of perception to be able to fuse the two. Perception had nothing to do with one's martial talent, but it did touch on one's soul talent a bit. Lin Ming's soul talent was primary fourth grade. Martial artists' soul talents were generally low. Lin Ming's soul talent could be considered top tier in the Sky Fortune Kingdom and was equal to superior fourth-grade talent in cultivation. Lin Ming was adjusting his mind and emptying his useless thoughts. He was ready to use the entire day to perceive and understand the body-tearing bone-shattering fist. He sank his soul force into the jade slip, and in Lin Ming's mind appeared the incomplete scripture of the body-tearing bone-shattering fist. This body-tearing bone-shattering fist, 
the very beginning is incomplete. The body tearing bone shattering fist was missing 70% of its information. If this debilitating flaw was only in the second half of the manual, then an unrivaled talent might be able to practice a small part of it. But currently, the missing section started at the beginning, moreover, the flaws also passed through the entire heart mantra, which made this simply impossible to practice. No wonder this body tearing bone shattering fist was lying out on the corner and no one asked for it. Even though the concept of vibrating one's own true essence was simple, there wasn't even an explanation on how to begin practicing the hand movements. The passage from the introduction which describes this is missing. However, in Lin Ming's memories from the Elder Soul Fragment, there was a vaguely basic and fuzzy memory of what strength training's flow like silk was like. Lin Ming took these two sets of manuals as one and began to reflect upon them together. He began to have a faint feeling as if he was just tracing the beginning of strength training's flow like silk. Breathing. Lin Ming mumbled as he pondered. The true essence vibration start is breathing. In the soul fragment's memories, he had learned that the human body was composed of millions upon millions of tiny units. Whether it was the skeleton, or muscles, or blood, or anything else, they were formed from these small units that were smaller than dust. However, they actually had a very complex structure and played different roles in the human body. When cultivation had reached a high enough realm, true essence would condense in the eye, and their vision would be improved to the limit of limits, and they would be able to discover these tiny units. Each of these tiny units was alive. Each could breathe. The average person's body's tiny units would have a breath disorder from all these tiny units breathing at different times but if they managed to reach the large success stage of strength training's flow like silk, they would be able to control the breathing rate of these tiny units so that they were consistently unified, and it would then resonate this was the beginning of strength training's flow like silk, and was also the beginning of true essence vibration. According to that elder's memories, when a human was first conceived, in their mother's womb they would be just a tiny unit that would grow. At that time, because the tiny unit is just one, their breathing frequency was consistent, and thus an embryo's breathe was purest at that moment. Lin Ming was suddenly enlightened. Was it possible that the senior who created the body-tearing bone-shattering fist had also discovered the secret behind the tiny units of the human body? This body-tearing bone-shattering fist was missing its beginning portion. The grade of low-grade earth step was assigned to it by an elder at the Seven Profound Valley who was responsible for examining the jade slips before deciding where they went. Now, it seemed that it hadn't been wholly accurate. It was very possible that this was an even higher order cultivation method. But adjusting the whole body's tiny units so that their breath was consistent was not a simple matter. The body tearing bone shattering first was completely missing this part in its instructions. Lin Ming could only diligently try to recall bits and pieces from the fuzzy memories he had. Adjust the body through true essence to control the breathing of the tiny units, and finally achieve the goal of changing the tiny units' breathing rate until they are consistent. Lin Ming sat down cross-legged and began to revolve the true essence within his body. He unendingly tried to match his own breathing with that of the tiny units inside his body. Once. Twice. Lin Ming felt his breath become longer and longer. Gradually, he felt his own breathing begin to enter a subtle boundary. He began to feel his consciousness fade away, and his body become empty nothingness. The uncountable tiny units within his body began to move along with Lin Ming's breath as if they were vibrating. He felt a scalding, burning sensation as if he were being swept away by a tide. Lin Ming was in constant meditation and reflection. Like this, he sat in the courtyard for an entire day. That day, Lin Ming was like a still pond. Leaves fell on his shoulders, his head, and his arms, but Lin Ming remained motionless throughout. It wasn't until the sun set over the mountains that Lin Ming woke from his long period of contemplation and slowly opened his eyes. This true essence vibration and strength trainings flow like silk boundary are just too mysterious. I have used an entire day but only managed to finally touch upon a clue. This true essence vibration involves the hidden secrets of the human body. The average person would simply not think of this. It is too fantastic. Although he hadn't progressed much, Lin Ming had clearly seen the approximate direction to go. 
if he slowly perceived this through mediation, he would sooner or later be able to find out the mystery. Lin Ming put away the jade sleep. Strangely, though he hadn't eaten the entire day, he didn't feel any hunger in his belly at all. Martial artists before the pulse condensation period had to eat meals and drink water just like the average man. Even someone at the pulse condensation period could only stand hunger a few more days than a normal man. If they didn't eat for a long time, they could also starve to death. I'm also not hungry at all. It seems the tiny units in my body have already breathed in true essence and are full. Strength training's flow like silk is too wonderful. It's only today that I realize that perhaps the so-called strength of strength training's flow like silk is not physical strength at all, but true essence strength. If I practice true essence strength until I could freely wield it at will, then this would be the large success of strength training's flow like silk. Lin Ming was unable to restrain a sigh filled with emotion. The chaotic virtues combat meridians were broad and profound. Over the countless long years, the realm of the god's sex seniors had been unendingly revising and cultivating the chaotic virtues combat meridians. Each method inside was the sum of endless experience and had been time-tested. He had practiced it until now and had reached this level of cultivation, but it was only the tip of the iceberg. This is as far as I go today. Tomorrow I'll have a look at the seven profound martial houses' seven large cultivating rooms. I wonder what sort of mysterious effects these places will have on cultivation. In the time that Lin Ming had practiced strength training's flow like silk, Zhang Tsang and Zhu Yan had walked together into the seven profound martial house depositories. This Lin Ming just chose a cultivation method. But with only one month, his practice will be inadequate regardless. Zhu Yan said as he held a purple jade slip in his hand. This color represented a middle grade human step cultivation method, Zhang Tsung said. I wonder what kind of cultivation method that boy will choose. Zhu Yan sneered. This Lin Ming is too confident in his own strength. When he was at the first stage of body transformation, he had threatened to overtake me. He will certainly choose some popular cultivation method that is difficult to cultivate. If so, even if his perception is good, I will let him have no time to practice. The popular cultivation methods needed an appointment in order to see them, but a time reservation's length was arranged according to one's own ranking. Sometimes a cultivation method had five to six, or even six or seven disciples waiting in line to study it. At this time, the allocated time would depend on ranking to be given out. If your ranking was low, then you would be at the end of the line and see very little of it. But usually, of these six to seven people, there were always several that were senior disciples. They had already studied these cultivation methods for a long time, to the extent that improving their own cultivation method by seeing the jade slip was useless. What they needed was more and more practice and actual combat. However, there was also no stipulation that said that senior disciples could not continue taking advantage of the jade slip. As long as Zhu Yan abused his relationships with people, Lin Ming would have to frequently let other people borrow the jade slip, and Lin Ming would not have the jade slip to practice. Obstruction was within the regulations of the Seven Profound Martial House. Zhu Yan could not flagrantly deal with him, but he could do something that would hinder and disgust him. Zhang Tsung and Zhu Yan went looking through the bookshelves for Lin Ming's name. They examined the jade signs for names. Naturally, the first ones they looked up were Shadowless Art, Absolute Nine Yang, and other such top heart mantras and cultivation methods. However, they could not find Lin Ming's name among any of these. They retreated and thought for a moment, then continued looking through the lower level cultivation methods, but still hadn't found Lin Ming's shadow. Hmm? What's going on? Zhu Yan frowned slightly. Zhang Tsung suddenly said. Zhu Yan, here I found it. Zhu Yan walked over and saw Lin Ming's name on a very short note. Hmm? The note only had one name? Zhu Yan was slightly stunned. That this note only had one name proved that this cultivation method was a skill that received very little attention. Foundation Spear Technique? This Lin Ming actually chose this cultivation method? What the hell was he thinking? I also found the second. Hearing Zhang Tsung, Zhu Yan looked again. This time, he was shocked once more. Foundation movement technique? 
Lin Ming had chosen the foundation spear technique and the foundation movement technique? Zhu Yan was mind-boggled. This was inconceivable. Seeing Lin Ming had chosen these cultivation methods, Zhang Tsung said, Zhu Yan, you really overestimated this Lin Ming. After he attained the rank 126 on the ranking stone I thought that he was some sort of impressive character, but it seems like only his luck is good. He had some sort of fortuitous encounter, so his strength rapidly increased, but sooner or later that will be useless. Look at these two sets of manuals, relying on these, how could he possibly hope to face other experts? Chapter 70, Icy Pond Waterfall Seeing Lin Ming had chosen these cultivation methods, Zhang Tsung said, Zhu Yan, you really overestimated this Lin Ming. After he attained the rank of 126 on the ranking stone, I thought that he was some sort of impressive character, but it seems like only his luck is good. He had some sort of fortuitous encounter, so his strength rapidly increased. But sooner or later that will be useless. Look at these two sets of manuals, relying on this. How could he possibly hope to face other experts? Zhang Tseng believed that with Lin Ming's talent, even if he practiced the foundation spear technique and foundation movement technique, there was no way that he would have any decent results with it. If he insisted on practicing these garbage skills, the only thing that would grow was the disparity between them. Ha ha, he is self-aware that his qualifications are inferior to others, so he dares not select a cultivation method that is difficult. This kind of person that lacks any semblance of self-confidence, what martial skills could he possibly cultivate? Hearing Zhang Tseng's derisive words, Xu Yan frowned as his brows knitted tightly. He laid down the jade slip and said, Zhang Tseng, I advise you not to have a low opinion of your opponent and underestimate him. Maybe this Lin Ming lacks confidence, but don't forget, he broke Ling Sen's record for passing the dream trial that tested one's heart of martial arts in the entrance exam. When Zhu Yan said this, Zhang Tsung stopped talking. When he had first participated in the dream trial, it had taken him three quarters of an hour. He had done far worse than Lin Ming. He knew what it meant to pass that hurdle in less than an incense stick worth of time. Let's continue looking. I want to see what sort of martial skill he chose. The pair turned to look again, and after a long time, they only found Lin Ming's name on an incomplete jade slip's note. Missing 70% of its contents, body tearing bone shattering fist? Usually Zhu Yan was calm, but after seeing this note with Lin Ming's name, his eyes widened. Was this Lin Ming insane? He didn't know what grade or rank this body tearing bone shattering fist was, but he estimated it to be a low grade earth step skill. With a manual of this grade, even if it was at the Seven Profound Valley main sect, it would be a martial skill that wouldn't be passed down to outsiders. If there was even the smallest chance at all that someone could find inspiration from this, it would absolutely be impossible for this to be found in the depositories of the Seven Profound Martial House. Having seen this martial skill, Zhu Yan didn't hesitate to give up, let alone himself. Even if it was the Seven Profound Martial House's Heavenly Abode's number one talent Zhang Guanyu, and also core disciples like Qin Xingxuan, and so forth, they would not be so presumptuous to consider this body tearing bone shattering fist. That was simply biting off more than they could chew. This Lin Ming was just too crazy. If he had just chosen the foundation spear technique and the foundation movement technique, then Zhu Yin might have guessed that there was some profound and immeasurably deep meaning behind these choices. But since he chose body-tearing bone-shattering fist, Zhu Yin only thought that Lin Ming was a half-baked idiot. This Lin Ming, not only are his qualifications poor, but it seems he has some problems in the head. Only if he had the mind of a pig would he choose a martial skill like this, Zhang Tsung quipped. This time Zhu Yin didn't argue. He just didn't know what this Lin Ming was thinking. Zhu Yan said, Zhang Tsung, although the martial skills and cultivation methods Lin Ming chose are normal, there is no need to not be careful. There's nothing wrong with not taking an opponent lightly. This Lin Ming is still rank 126 on the ranking stone. The reason is he should have eaten the golden snake scarlet pill and the crimson gold dragon marrow pill, and was able to absorb these two pills so well that it even startles me. Rest assured, he is not my match by far. After twenty more days, it will be the day of the match. 
I will completely and thoroughly defeat him. Hmm. Not only must you win, but you have to destroy his confidence. Let him suffer humiliation as much as you can within the rules. You can even severely wound him and disable him. Even if his body was cured with some rare and precious medicine, it would still leave behind a hidden injury and affect his future martial arts cultivation. This Lin Ming relied on some fortuitous encounter to want to fight with me and he wants to take my woman. I will grind him under my foot and make him unable to ever recover. Zhu Yun said this with a cold eye. He subconsciously gripped his fist as if he were crushing Lin Ming into dust. The seven profound martial houses cultivation rooms were divided into the seven major killing arrays that each represented metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. They were the Golden Soldier Hall, Wood Puppet Lane, Icy Pond Waterfall, Lava Cave, Boulder Slope, Violet Wind Tunnel, and Thunder Valley. These seven major cultivation rooms were not normal magic arrays, but true killing arrays. A magic array could only create illusions in the mind. No matter how real these illusions seemed, they weren't like killing arrays and could only kill a person in their mind. Once they awoke, the illusion would be broken and it could thus not serve to cultivate body transformation. Only a true killing array could be used to cultivate and achieve the body's potential. Of these seven major killing arrays, each could have twelve people practicing on them at once. Because the killing array's activation and maintenance consumed a large quantity of true essence stones, many times more than magic arrays, the spots were limited. Therefore the time allotted was based upon one's ranking on the ranking stone. If one was lower than rank 180 on the ranking stone, they could practice for half a day every month. If they were between rank 150 and rank 180, they could practice for an entire day. As for ranks above 150, there were many stipulations, and the time allotted was accurate to the hour. For ranks higher than 50, the time was increased every 10 ranks, and as for the final top 3 ranks, they could practice for 10 days every month. Factoring in rest and time to cultivate, they could be practicing inside a major killing array whenever they wanted to. Lin Ming had checked his jade slip. His own rank was 126. He could either practice for two days all day, or he could take 24 hours and divide it as he liked. If he did, Lin Ming would have to make an appointment, and then come at that time. Naturally that spot would be emptied for him for that period. But if he didn't arrive for his appointment, then his time for that period would still be used. The seven major killing arrays were located at seven different places within the seven profound valleys. To get there, at the center of each array was a total transmission array. All disciples' practices were arranged by the transmission array's administrative office. All new students, you have the chance to enter any one you like for one hour. This time does not calculate into your total time. Before entering the killing array, you may let the elder responsible for the arrays help you choose an appropriate difficulty. Here is a reference chart with approximate difficulty levels and their relative rankings. You may have a look. The elder responsible for the transmission array slowly said. He then registered everyone's scores and slowly passed them a reference chart. Lin Ming looked at the chart. His own rank was 126. This corresponded to a seventh level of difficulty. Out of the metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning arrays, which one should he choose? As Lin Ming hesitated, Hong Shi said, I'm warning you, these seven major killing arrays are the real deal. If you mess up inside you will be severely injured. So do not choose a difficulty level that is too high, or more than you can handle. Also, of the seven major killing arrays, do not choose the Thunder Valley. The others are okay. If you have any soul-gathering pellets you should consider taking one. Although you only have one hour of test time inside, this time is also precious. This practice may be able to stimulate your body's potential. Lin Ming just happened to have a soul-gathering pellet on himself. He listened to Hong Shi's advice and ate it. And he couldn't choose the Thunder Valley? Was the Thunder Valley too difficult? Or were there other reasons? Lin Ming didn't ask, but instead finally decided upon the icy pond waterfall. The seven major cultivation arrays created the realm using the local environment, and their designs were specialized to the terrain and topography of the land. 
The construction design was very ingenious. Lin Ming chose the icy pond waterfall. Originally it was a natural waterfall of the Zhou Mountains, but after being transformed by the array, the pouring water of the waterfall now contained a formidable pulse and energy. The pond that lay underneath the waterfall also became incomparably and extraordinarily cold, with a bone-piercing chill. As he arrived at the canyon where the icy pond waterfall was, Lin Ming could distantly hear a sound like thunder as if an underground earthquake was happening. The Zhou Mountain Waterfall was the highest waterfall in the Sky Fortune Kingdom, and the height from top to bottom was 300 feet. The current of water above directly impacted down below, and the strength of the water was similar to being hit by a sledgehammer. The deep pond below was a result of then thousand years of that waterfall impacting below. The depth of the pond had already reached 1,000 feet. Under that terrifying water pressure, even a master at the pulse condensation period would shrink back at the sight. As Lin Ming arrived at the icy pond waterfall, there was giant curtain of water as if the entire pond was steaming. This was from the torrential downpour and immeasurable amount of water that was splashing dozens of feet into the air. The rumbling sound of the waterfall even faintly shook Lin Ming's heart with its resonance. Great waterfall, Lin Ming shouted with his heart filled with emotion. This was the first time that he had seen such a marvelous wonder of nature.